The Sartorius Sterisart Universal Pump is a peristaltic pump equipped with the appropriate devices for attaching a closed sterility test system and a sample container. Normally, the Sterisart pump should be set up in a suitable area, such as a clean room, laminar flow workbench, or isolator. To begin, insert the needle from the Sterisart canisters into the customer's sample vial. Then activate the Sterisart pump via the convenient foot pedal. The sample is extracted from the vial, through the Tycon tubing, into the Sterisart canisters, and finally through the Sarvochem membranes. After sample extraction is complete, place a bottle of rinse fluid in the holding ring and then attach the needle. The rinse fluid rinses the residual sample through the canister and out through the membrane. This prevents interference of the growth process for the microbes that are now trapped on the membrane. Remove the rubber venting caps to release the built-up pressure in the canisters. Apply caps to the filtrate ports at the bottom of the canisters. Clamp one tube side so that the fluid can fill only one container. Remove the bottle of rinse fluid and replace it with one of the two bottles of growth media, in this case, triptych soy broth. After attaching the needle, activate the pump and fill a single container to 100 ml. Exchange the empty bottle of triptych soy broth with a bottle of fluid thioglycolate. Fill the next canister with 100 ml of media. After filling is complete, close off both clamps nearest to the canisters. Cut the tubes with enough distance so that the ends can connect to the Minisart air vents. You now have a closed system. Remove the canisters and label them with the type of growth media, the product being tested, and the date the test was performed. Incubate the canisters for 14 days. Check each day for the presence of turbidity. If after 14 days, no growth is observed, the product can be signed off for release to the marketplace.